everyone. Today I'm showing you how to tape your rifle. Um, everybody tapes their rifle differently, has their own technique for doing it. Um, this is just the way I tape it. If you tape yours differently, neither of us is wrong. It's just different ways of taping. Um, I'm making this video specifically for people who um, want to spin rifle um, but don't, don't have the ability to learn it at their school and don't know where to begin to tape your rifle. So, first I want to show you the things that you're going to need. You're going to need some white tape. Um, you can get this at your local hardware store. Walmart does not sell this, so don't even bother looking there. Um, just roll white tape, electrical tape. You're going to need a screwdriver. I have this tiny little bitty one. It's good for traveling. Uh, I'm going to use a Phillips head. This is one with a little cross at the end. Um, you can use whatever screwdriver you want. Um, a Phillips one is going to probably be the best, but you can also use like a smaller flathead. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors. I have this fancy little pair, but use whatever scissors you have at home because this is all I have. Um, and some one inch wide strapping tape. Um, it's really hard to find, at least where I live. I used to be able to buy it at my local like Menards hardware store, but they stopped selling it. Um, so you can order it online, or you can make do with other things. Um, Walmart used to sell 3 inch wide strapping tape. Um, I don't know if they actually sell that anymore. Um, but a good, like another alternative to, instead of buying it online, is to use this uh, scotch strapping tape. Like shipping tape, that's what it looks like. Um, it's like shipping tape, it's this reinforced strength. Um, it's technically strapping tape is what it is. It says that on the package in small letters. Uh, and it's three inch wide, so what you're going to have to do is cut it into thirds. Because I find it easier to use one inch wide than three inch wide. But just like, just like I said before, you can, you can buy the one inch strapping tape online like through any band supply store, like band shop or anything like that. So, we're going to get started. So, of course you need your rifle. I'm going to show you mine. It looks terrible, so don't judge me. Alright? The strap is like all hanging off and whatnot. Um, here it is. I already t you're going to have to take the bolt off this piece. Just unscrew it. And be careful. Don't strip your screws. Get two screws and just take your bolt off. Um, mine is like four years old, so it looks really bad. And I let someone borrow it for a season because I haven't done garden like three years. So, um... And they needed a rifle, and I let them borrow mine because I'm a nice person. But now it's like cracked all down the center here and up here, and there's all kinds of nicks and dings and stuff in it. Yeah, whatever. Um, and I've lost the little screws that go in the straps, but you can always just tape it together, or you can always buy the new, new sets of these. Um, to get started, after you take the bolt off, you... Um, some people take the strap off completely, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I never did, but it is more convenient to wrap the tape around your the center part of your rifle if the strap is off. So, first thing you're going to need to do is you need to take your strapping tape. Um, there's going to be certain areas where we're going to put this stuff on. You're going to want to wrap it at the end, the end here. You're going to wrap it at the neck. This is the most sensitive part of your rifle, is this the neck. And then you're going to wrap it through this part here and right here. You're going to tape over the, um, the swivel here. And you're going to do the end. Now, something to keep in mind when you're taping your rifle is that the more tape you put on is how like, it will affect the weight of your rifle. You want your rifle to be protect protected, but you don't want to do overdo it in the tape. And this strapping tape is what's going to help you protect it. Um, because when your rifle, if you were to drop your rifle and your rifle were to break, um, like crack like mine has, I don't know, you can tell it on camera. There's all kinds of like nastiness on my rifle right now, like hairs and crap. Um, it's cracked like all down the center here, and on the back here it's like all down this way. But I had enough strapping tape on it that it did not break in half, although it is cracked. But if your rifle would be at this point, you need to buy a new one. Uh, but this is all I have, and this is what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, I'm going to take a strip. Um, I'm going to start. I'll show you in a second. I'm going to start at the bottom 
here and I'm going to wrap all the way around. And you don't want to overlap tape. And then this is going to be difficult if you have the three inch wide stuff. But uh, one inch wide is going to be much easier. And after you meet the tape on the other side, um, just snip it and do that. Okay? And see how I did did this? I don't know if you can see, but right here I did one one piece around. And I'm going to go all the way. It's about approximately three inches. So I guess if you wanted, you could just do a whole three inch wide section here. But you want to make sure you cover the bottom of your swivel. And that's where you know where to stop. So do that whole section and tape. strapping tape and it's covering the swivel. It's going all the way around. It's approximately like three and a half inches or so. It depends on the size of your rifle. I'm This is a 36 inch by the way. Um, and the next part you are going to tape is the knit. Now this is going to be a little difficult because it goes from like wide to smaller and um, with strapping tape you don't want to overlap this stuff. Um, because it is so heavy of a tape. Um, so try to just do like strips all the way down till you meet like where the bolt starts. So like right here is where you want to stop. So now I have the neck taped. Disregard how gross it looks right now. Um, when you tape this part, it is not going to get. It's not going to be perfectly flat to the rifle. It's going to have some little bumps and kinks, okay, to it. And when you cover it with white tape, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But um, right here, I have taped from right here to where the bolt starts. The next part you're going to do. Um, how I tape it, you can. I mean, you can still see remnants of the previous strapping tape. But um, anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, a strip, I'm going to put a strip here, here, on the other side, and on the bottom. Just a strip on each piece here. Okay, so after you have your strips put on, don't worry about the, the holes where the screws go in. Your screws will go right through the tape. Um, but here it is. Um, when on these on the actual sides of the rifle, I extended the tape all the way to me, the tape um, where the neck is. Um, because there's a giant crack in mine. So, yep, there's that. The next thing you want to do is going to be totally optional for how you want to tape it. Um, if you were a beginner, um, or you are a beginner to higher tosses where you're going to be tossing them pretty high and um, you're new to that and you could be dropping a lot, you might want to completely cover from here all the way to the neck with strapping tape. Um, but if you're more experienced, you probably don't need to put as much tape. Um, I would put as much as you think um, you want. Um, I'm going to put a couple of strips from probably here like a like a ring of it here, 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 and here, and you need to put a ring right there. Um, so you definitely want to start the tape here and end it at the neck. So as much or as little as you want right here. Just know as m the more you put on, the more protected your rifle is going to be from breaking in half.
So I've put the rings on, like I said, put that much tape on, but feel free to add more if you feel like you need more protection. All right, the next part you're going to put strapping tape is one ring right here where the swivel is. going to do about three inches wide here um, from the end all the way to approximately there. Um, it all depends on how far you want to go in on the rifle. So let's get started. So you have your first layer of tape on your rifle. My strap's completely off, but oh well. Um, so you take the end, the neck, the um, where the bolt is, um, over your swivel down here, and the end of your rifle. So after you've completed this, it is time for white tape. All right. So I'll get my white tape out of here. Um, so I have a full roll, and it will not take all this tape. But all right. So the end of your rifle. When you have a brand new rifle, you're going to have this like padding on the end. If you have an older rifle, like you've used a lot and the padding has come off, you can always replace this with um, like a maxi pad or something. Um, but this is crucial to have on your rifle. You definitely want padding down here. Um, the first thing you want to do is you're going to tape over the padding. Um, I'm going to take strips and cover the end like down and around like like this so it takes approximately like two or three strips to cover the end so that's what I'm gonna do and um, you can cut it with scissors or you can rip it this will rip but I like how clean it's cleaner edges if you just cut it After you have the end taped here, you're going to start wrapping the tape around until you get to the swivel and wrap around and you have completely covered your strapping tape. And when you do this, try to um, make the overlapping of your tape when you wrap it, make it very small, as small as possible because you want the least amount of this tape on your rifle because it will add extra weight. So the end of my rifle is completely covered. The next part you're going to do is the neck and where the bolt's going to be. And you're going to completely wrap your rifle from the start of your um, strapping tape all the way to that last strip you put right here. Um, and it's okay to cover these holes where the screws are going in because the screws will go right through the tape, so don't worry about it. So now this whole center part is covered in tape. When you get to like this area, um, it's okay to overlap it a little bit more because I want to make sure this whole side is covered and um, and then I extended it a little further because one piece of my tape was not going to cover the strapping tape so I um, extended the tape a little bit further. The next part is to um, cover this tape that's covering the uh, swivel. Um, the last part you're going to do is the end here. And just like the other end, I want to cover this piece of padding first and then cover the end here. 
Um, if you are missing this padding, um, you need to put something down. You can cut a piece of a maxi pad off, or you can use a cotton ball or two and tape down, because that will give you more padding. is completely covered. The um, next thing you want to do is put your bolt back on. So, ah. so you put the screws in and tighten them down. Um, don't tighten one completely down then the next completely down. Do, do like one some and the next and just keep going back and forth. Alright, I have my bolt on. Next thing I need to do is put my strap back on. Um, you might not have taken your strap off like I did, but just thread it back on here. If I could put it on the right way, that'd be cool. Ugh. So I got that, and... Whoa. Now... Um, depending on what color your strap is, is going to determine what tape you use. I have a white strap, so I'm going to just use my white tape. Um, but if you are a school that uses um, rifles with black straps, I would use black tape. Um, but there's a, you're going to have these little screws on your strap that you know, determines the length of it. You do need to cover that with tape. Or, if you don't, this is going to happen on the bottom of your rifle. So, you need to tape that over, and um, I don't have those little screws anymore, I have half of one. Um, so I'm just going to adjust the strap length to the tightness that I want. And um, when you, like when you're in the middle of a season, and your strap starts to stretch out, because it will, since it's leather, you need to adjust it, because you don't want a strap that is loose, like floppy, like this. This is bad. You want um, to have a little bit of little bit of a window, like when you hold your rifle upside down. Um, that's still too loose, but I can do this. You don't need it to be completely tight, but um, you do need to have like approximately like I don't know if you see this, but that much of a window at least, um, from the, the rifle to the strap. Um, but if it's laying completely flat, you know that it is too loose. Okay, so I've taped the ends here to hold my strap together. Um, you don't have to put that much tape on like I did, but I want to make sure it didn't come apart since I don't have the little screws. Um, so my strap is like all twisted, um, but it's pretty tight right now, but it will stretch out as I use it. So this is the completed rifle. Yep, like this. We would always put our names at the end here. Some people put their names like on the inside here on the strap or something, but whatever. So this is basically how you tape a rifle if you have no idea how to do it. And uh, my battery's dying, so I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye!